Caring for Children, Chapter 14. Imagine that you have received a call from your next door neighbor. She asks you to care for your toddler one afternoon next week. What would be your answer? Do you have any past child care experience that might be helpful? Many parents need the help of others to care for their children on a temporary basis. Trusted teens who make child care responsibilities seriously can be valued caregivers. Many teens your age take jobs caring for infants, toddlers, or children. Some have had practice caring for younger siblings. For others, caring for a child is a new experience. Whether you're an old pro or just starting out, caring for children is a fun way to spend some time with children while making extra money. Whether you're caring for a younger sibling or your neighbor's toddler, you are in charge of the child's safety and welfare. Being in charge of children is an enormous responsibility. Chances are it's the biggest responsibility you've ever had. When caring for small children, think about how they see things. Anticipating children's natural curiosity can prevent accidents. Taking steps to identify possible hazards and removing them or child-proofing the home helps ensure children's safety. The following guidelines can help keep you, your children safe inside the home. Remove objects that create a hazard. Monitor the use of stairs. Keep doors and windows locked at all times. Supervise children constantly. Place harmful chemicals and matches out of reach of children. Be alert of poisoning such as coughing, stomach pain, dizziness, rashes or burns, vomiting, unconsciousness and swelling in the mouth or esophagus, which causes choking and breathing difficulty. If you think a child has been poisoned, immediately call 911 in a poison control center in your area. Poison control centers give advice on treatment for poisoning. Their staff will tell you what emergency actions to take. Children often and children enjoy toys of all types. Although they can be fun to play with, toys can also have safety hazards. Before giving a toy to a child, make sure it's clean, unbreakable, free of sharp edges, and too large to swallow. Any objects that can pass through a tube of toilet tissue is too small to give to children younger than three years of age. Some loud toys can scare small children and even permanently damage hearing. Toys with long strings or cords may cause choking and should not be placed in cribs or playpens where children might become tangled in them. Toy safety is important for older children too. Check to see that their toys are in good working condition with no broken pieces or sharp edges. Broken toys can cause serious injuries. Also provide children with safety equipment for activities such as biking as a rider or a passenger and rollerblading. Most children enjoy playing outdoors, but they must be supervised at all times when they're outside. In some cases, you can remain inside and watch children who are playing in an enclosed backyard. Other outdoor areas, such as playgrounds, require extra caution. When choosing a playground, select one that has a soft surface such as shredded tires beneath the equipment. Make sure to keep children off playground equipment that has peeling paint, is developmentally inappropriate, or is broken. Playground outings should always be supervised by an adult caregiver. Streets are dangerous areas for children. Never let children play in streets or roads. If older children need to cross the street, explain to them how to cross safely and monitor them as they do. Bicycle safety rules need to be established before children ride. Wading or swimming pools are another type of outdoor danger. Although they are lots of fun, pools can be deadly. If you're taking children to a pool, don't take your eyes off of them. Children who get cramps while swimming or those who are inexperienced swimmers can easily drown within minutes. Swim activities as well as other outdoor activities also can cause sun-related problems such as sunburns. Be sure to apply sunscreen to children before they swim or play outdoors. Would you know what to do if a children fell from a swing or into a swimming pool? The action you take can be 
the difference between a minor injury or a more serious injury. To prepare yourself for dealing with an emergency while caring for children, commit these suggestions to memory. Remain calm, assess the situation, call for assistance, give the minimum necessary first aid treatment. Classes that provide instruction in basic emergency care or first aid classes can teach you how to treat minor injuries and how to respond to serious ones. You can also take a class to learn CPR, a rescue technique used to keep a person's heart and lungs functioning while medical care arrives. These classes are offered in schools and through the American Red Cross and other community agencies. Responding to emergencies and providing a safe environment are vitally important. Caring for children also includes playing with them, dressing them, feeding them, putting them to bed, encouraging them, guiding their behavior, and promoting their self-concept. Children of different ages have different needs and when they behave differently to have their needs met. For example, infants may have many physical needs. When infants cry, you need to find out what's troubling them. Are they too cold or too warm? They may be hungry or sick or need a clean diaper. Changing diapers is a necessary part of infant care. To change a diaper, make sure all necessary supplies are nearby before you begin. Never leave an infant alone on a changing table. It is too easy for the child to fall off. If an infant is crying to be held, try holding the baby while walking or rock the baby in a chair. Always support the head and neck when holding infants. The needs and behaviors of toddlers and preschools are different from those of infants. For example, toddlers tend to get into things that can be hazardous and many like to climb, which can lead to falls. You'll need to watch them every moment and provide safe play activities and toys. Preschoolers also need your attention, but they can do more for themselves. They enjoy it when you read to, play with, and talk to them. Caring for older children requires different skills. Some children may feel they're old enough to take care of themselves. Be friendly to them and show a sincere interest in their ideas and activities. Sometimes older children are jealous of the attention you give to their younger siblings. They may misbehave to get your attention. If a child deliberately misbehaves, remain calm and discipline the child. The most effective discipline has a clear connection to the misbehavior. For example, if a child bumps into others with a bicycle after being told not to, you might take the bicycle away. Be fair but firm. You can be friendly and still be in charge. Although dressing yourself is easy now, as a young child this was a challenging task. Most, most young children and all infants need help getting dressed. When dressing infants, keep in mind that they lose body heat more quickly than adults do but they are also sensitive to overheating. As a general rule, dress infants in one layer more than you would wear. Unless the weather is cold, socks and booties are not necessary and shoes are not required until a child starts to walk outside. Toddlers and young preschoolers are very mobile and their clothes often become dirty quickly. Choosing clothing with that stretches and can be cleaned easily. Guide them in their clothing choices. Children at this age have no concept of weather. Offer clothing appropriate to the time of the year, the daily weather, and the activity. Because many children at this age are learning to use the toilet independently, they need clothes that can be removed easily and quickly. Pants with the elastic in the waist are a better choice than those with buttons. Older preschoolers and school-age children are usually able to dress themselves, but they may need help tying their shoes because children this age have definite likes and dislikes allow them to choose from several clothing options when you care for children you may be responsible for feeding them find out what food should be served when to serve it and how much to serve also ask parents or guardians about food allergies or special diets infants Toddlers, 
preschoolers. Bedtime is often a challenge. Toddlers, preschoolers, and young school-age children may not want to go to bed. They will protest bedtime by crying, climbing on a bed, making excuses to get up for water or restroom visits, and refusing to return to bed. Ask parents or guardians what the bedtime routine is and follow it. Putting on pajamas, brushing teeth, and listening to a quiet story can help prepare children physically and emotionally for bed. A sleeping child is still in your care. Be sure to close, be close by in case the child needs your attention. Many children experience bedwetting during the night and need a change of pajamas and bedding. Some children experience a nightmare or a bad dream and need your help and comfort. Occasionally, children experience a night tear, a type of sleep disorder that more in, that is more intense than a nightmare. These often occur when a child has a high fever or an illness. Children experiencing a night tear might scream, cry, and act confused while still asleep. For nightmares and night tears, stay with the child and provide comfort until he or she falls back asleep. If the child is asleep, don't wake him or her. Simply provide comfort until the child quiets down. Sleepwalking, walking while still asleep, occurs in some children, usually between 5 and 12 years of age. Most children who sleepwalk return to their beds on their own and there is no need to wake the child. Be sure the doors are locked so the child does not leave the home and the stairs are gated. Taking extra care at bedtime can keep children safe and calm while they are in your care.